Greetings, I am live. And I am Scandal. And let's, let's play, play a game, game together. together. Yes. My friend is so, so ready to be done with this nonsense. It's amazing. I, I also, the thing is, is just before we started, I was just like, yes, let this end this way. <laughs> we will end on a tragic note of Lily's oh. heart being broken and her mind being overwhelmed and the story being tragic. And we'll be like, lovely playing with you all. Peace. Goodbye! <laughs> yeah. All right. So anyway, we're gonna we're gonna talk to Holly and Yay! see how this goes. Cause we have one day left. One Hi. day left. Why the long face, anyway? Mom, I'm not going to inherit. Bug off. Oh, fuck right off. Just got some bad news. That's all. She looks devastated in her 3D model. Like she's crying. Like, yeah. that is that is more than I have seen her generally do. Like, there is a level of, I'm not only curled in on myself, but I am, like, holding my head and, you know, sort of, like, wiping my face. She is crying. Now, wiping right through her glasses is a little impractical, but here we are. <laughs> Well, you know, skills. <laughs> skills, I... right? All right. If she's got a patron, she can do anything. Mm -hmm. He dumped you, huh? Well, I told you he was a loser. Mom, I'm not dating anyone. What? I... Anyway, you never told me what was up with those other accounts of Mary's. Oh, yeah. I'm not getting any of that. I knew it! And Philip was just messing with you about it. Hmm? Uh, something like that, I guess. Huh! I told you he was playing some game with you. Huh! It's very important for you to realize how big this game is. Well, at least you have the house and the other money. Huh. You could just sell the house to Mr. Rich and you'll be set for a long time. Not forever, but for a long time. Uh, sure, Mom. Sure. <sighs> this place, it was never really your home anyway. You don't need to feel bad about selling it. I'm gonna head to bed, Mom. I love the fact that she's like, I'm just not even going to talk to you. Uh -huh. Sue Giselle, sweet dreams. I care so much about you getting money that I refuse to basically help you at any turn other than basically just continually badgering you. So good luck. And while I don't have a sprite in the conversation, um, you know, uh, bracket, if you will, that has her crying, that was her crying. So your mom just, just completely didn't notice you crying, wiping your face, you know, sniffling, not being able to articulate well. Or again, she had a very specific viewpoint of going, of course. You know, he broke up with you. This is why you're crying. And I'm just sort of moving on. And honey, you need to be stronger than that. And that's how that works. Okay, like, I completely okay. could see that. Like, that's very, like, okay, it's fine. You can cry. But I warned you. You know, kind right, of thing. Right. And I'm not going to interact with it because you just get to have your time. And that's what it is. But right. I'm going to tell you to focus on the things that really matter. Yeah. See, I told you I was right. I can see that. I can see that. All right. Yeah. I'm like, that's, Holly that's is kind of fair. nasty. She really is. Like, really badly. She just... She's very selfish. Yeah, and also just, like, doesn't... Like, she's really about her own agenda and her own opinions. Oh, hell yeah. But also, like, in a limited sphere of, like, not developing herself or moving forward. Like, mm. very stagnant, if you will. Absolutely. And it's actually a thing that I've watched some people do. You can go ahead and keep going. <clears throat> okay. um, where they literally just jump ahead. Mm. They jump to conclusions because they're stuck on something else. Mm. And clearly what you're having a problem with is the thing that I knew was a problem. Right. And, and you're so not even just... really paying attention or listening because you're just, you know. And sometimes some people are just like, I just don't care. You can do whatever you want. Right. 3.04 a.m. Mr. Jones... No, don't eat everything. Oh, dear. Oh. oh, dear. Leave me alone, you big troll. He's in his underwear. Yes. Why? <laughs> also, you're the, you're the flowers. How could you betray me? I. I. Oh. Ah! Right. Hang on. Hold on, we'll be right, right. back. Alrighty, got the internet working and uh, downloading day 29. And Lily's a mess. I so we're still kind of just going like we we have some theories about where this is going to go with the other piece of property. Oh but yeah. But also just this idea of going, really, if this is the contract and if Mr. Jones is trustworthy, then what was Aunt Mary thinking? Why did she structure it this way for you? Well, you know, she had all those adventures or 
potentially wanted to have even more adventures, so why wouldn't she just be like, you know, honey, it's adventures are great. Have an adventure. Have an adventure. Thanks, Aunt this Mary. I might literally lose my entire life, and you don't know what my situation is like financially, but, you know, just have a game. Like, that's such, sometimes I feel like that's such a rich person thing to do. Also a level. just kind of like, here, play in my, you know, my game. Like, so why we, some people, like, always have questioned in my experience of going, mm. like, why do reality TV shows have such, you know, a following, and why do people sign up for them? And I'm going, right. because they're desperate, because they want money. Oh, like, 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 I don't know that that's why that's there's a following, but I know that's why people sign up for them. Well, yeah, no, no, but I'm like, also, but the thing for me is it's poverty exploitation. Like, okay. really, it's for entertainment. You right. are here and doing horrible things because, you know, or things that basically could hurt you, really uh. harm you, fuck with you psychologically, because, you know... Because you need money or you get thrown out in the next month, which is actually sometimes the story that they will tell you on reality TV is where they will interview some people. And sometimes, you know, like, because they're constructed and the conversations get moved around. But, but they'll just be talked, like, why are you here? Because I need the money. Yeah. I have. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty sad. All right. But so, this is uh, why I don't like reality TV. It's right. Like, anyway, we're going to watch uh, Lily's Misery for a while. Here we go. Hey. I guess I should get out of bed. Even though it seems totally pointless now. Don't worry, honey. You'll be fine. They have to figure out how to stretch out more of this game, so. I don't understand why Aunt Mary and Philly Philip set me to fail here. Set me up to fail here. That's there we go. Say, it's just like, ah, I can't read. She's so sad. She's also, I'm just having this experience of going, okay. How did Aunt Mary know she would have any skills to do this at all? Lily's the most resourceful child I've ever met in my life, and even though she knows very little about gardening, because she's very done it very little in her youth, I know she can do it. Like I said, the patron god thing works well. It because does. Because this doesn't fucking make sense otherwise. Like, it works so really, like... really well uh -huh. if Aunt Mary was a gardening warlock. Uh-huh. And she knew that this property, you know, you would be inheriting that skill, yep. and that that deadline would make you bond with your patron and learn your skills. Right, which would be fine and makes total sense but also on its own just independently a thing that they have brought up of going yeah if, wow i am really talented you're like yes Whoa. holy shit you are inhumanly talented actually but that's okay as well as again the idea that she can get all of this and all of its supplies without buying anything yes. even going to stores without buying anything mm -hmm. <sighs> set me up to fail here maybe mom was right about philip but it just doesn't seem like the aunt mary i remember Bork! <gasps> Borf! I am Doug! Hey. Hello! Good morning! <laughs> hey, girl. I guess I'm not gonna be seeing you much anymore. Borf! I am Dog. Wanna come sit in the grove with me? It was so peaceful there. Bawoof! I am Dog! Okay, but that's enough barking, please. I. Oh, Mom, boy. Where are you even staying? Mom, I have a lot of work to do today. Uh, please don't disturb me. I love me, this implication okay? that Holly is coasting up going, Hey! I know, she's like, just riding ah! up in that pose. Hey! Hey! Oh, my child! Yes. Hello! And you're like, oh, God. It's amazing. Yeah, it's that pose, just it, it, the one that's, you know, in the conversation box would be amazing. Walking up with her hands like that. Oh! Oh, <gasps> oh that's right. Tomorrow's the big day. Yeah. Big day. See you later. Goodbye. Oh, everything loaded again. <laughs> that was amazing. So hard. Huh? Who messed up this place again? You haven't been talking to your patron, and you have not been engaging with your environment. It's also, okay. those pots would be just as ruined as the other ones and full of as many leaves and things, but it's fine. Yeah, it's it's fine. We're going to pick fine. up the racks again? We are, and it's going to be a mystery, and it'll be fabulous. It'll be something important. I... Clean up. Clean up. Mess again. I wanted it to be clean up, but it's clean up. Uh, yeah, clean up is also not the same as clean up. As far as I understand as well. So yeah. clean up is like the experience happening, and clean up is what you do. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Anyway. I think that's probably the, the verbiage, right? Pain in my butt. Ugh. Ah! Roxy, either I have the world's strongest mice or the world's smallest burglar, except for they're not stealing things. Uh, Roxy? Roxy? I mean, dog? Dog, are you eating rocks? Dog. Hi. Ah, tasty. Nom, 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 nom. Please don't eat rocks. Like, how'd this even get this far over here? It's Philip. 
I... I've had a mild suspicion so far that it's it's Philip or something. That he's been showing up and hiding the photos every time you're almost there. Yeah. Which would make more sense. Huh? Which also sounds wildly convenient. But oh, I... look! It's a key! A key! To the cabinet, I'm sure. Perfect. Uh -huh. A key? I recognize these markings, too. There's markings on there? There. I'm not seeing what I would consider markings. There's, like, a stone. I... And there's a shape. But right. I don't, I'm not getting markings. Am I. Zero markings. No bueno. Come on, Roxy. Let's see what's in that cabinet. I love a mystery. And I won't get to figure it out after I don't own this place anymore. Oh, look. We cleaned up the rocks anyway. Yeah, we did. Magically. <laughs> uh -huh. All the way back without Roxy, walking over there. It was me. Roxy. I, 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 I am do dog. I, 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 it was me. I did it. I did it. Twas my. Twas see, I. that's why I want to call you. Twas I that put the rocks away. <laughs> yes. See, that's why I wanted to call you Roxy. Cause you love rocks. Ha, ha, ha. You wouldn't know that. Good dog. Fourth. And flick. What markings on the key? I don't see anything there either. Ah, uh, there's the doll. Holly and the feigning? The fairies. 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 There we go. Uh, Holly and the fairies? Okay. So I gotta say something that makes me laugh all the time mm -hmm. where adults are trying to draw as children. Uh -huh. That is an adult trying to draw as a child. It's true. And because it it's it's too clean. It's very I'm organized. Like, also, I like, yeah. I'm just did Holly wanna be a blonde? I don't know. I anyway, I bet that's the doll. Holly and the Fairies, nineteen seventy three. Yep. Looks like Mom believed in them after all. There's a letter in there. There is. Hey there, Beauty Queen. You must be Babs. Letter, it's addressed to me. I... They really are. They're digging in really hard with, don't quit after the first 30 days. Keep playing this game. All right. It's me and Uncle Arthur. I was so little. And at that time, you had a nose just like your mom. Hey, and look, she's not wearing the same fucking clothes. Sorry, I'm annoyed she's by shit like that. She's not wearing the same clothes. I'm also like, okay, though, so I've seen so many anthropomorphic things with them and the way they drew your nose and the shading and everything. You look like a baby pig. Like, I... if you had ears on your head, you'd look like a cartoon baby pig. Yeah, but also... It's specifically okay. the way they drew the shading around the eyes towards the nose. It looks uh, more like a snout. See what yeah, I mean? I'm no, not no. saying just the nose. I mean, the thing is, is also that stylization exists, for example, like Uncle Arthur as well. Mm. And I get your point, but I'm also going... That's... Like, I've seen anthropomorphized, you know, a baby, you know, pig oh, children yeah. in movies that look basically like that, but they have ears. Yeah. Anyway, so I find it interest a weird choice, if you will. I was so little. And pardon me, if anybody has a snub nose, I do not think you look like a pig. I'm talking about an art thing here. Yep. My sweet Lily, it's getting hard to remember things, and I'm told it will only get worse from here. So I wanted to write this to you while I still could. Oh, no. Ouch. I know that by the time you can read it, I'll be gone. Mary and I were blessed with a daughter, Flora, who arrived far too early and left far too soon. We never tried again after we lost her. Our niece, however, reluctantly, did end up in our lives. And then we met you, born in our very own house. Lily, the day you were born, I planted an acorn in this grove, as my parents did for me and my two siblings when we were born. I named the grove Lily's Garden and made it a magical place just for you, so you'd always know you were a La Rosa. I love you so much, my sweet girl. My greatest regret is that I won't live to see you grow up. Your mother never wanted to be a part of our family, so I don't know where your life will take you. But I hope with all my heart it will bring you back here one day so you can read this letter and know that this will always be your home. With all my love, in this life and the next, Uncle Arthur. Aww. Oh, no, that's adorable. Those you are need really sad. more animations. <laughs> <laughs> you just need a slight difference with that is the sad, ashamed me versus this is the, you know, sort of like supported You're sad looking me. at body versus face. So you're The face isn't visible here. That's what I'm saying. You're saying that this is exactly the same. And I'm like, you don't know if they changed that face or not. Honestly, based off of what I've seen, nope. they never changed the faces at all. The face, like, because if you ever seen where they have Holly talking mm -hmm. or sometimes where they have Luke talking and it's like the same, like, happy head. The same bad. Nonsense. Just, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's actually pretty funny. Based off of what I can tell. Now, obviously, there are plenty of faces that I can't see because they're flipped around or you can't, yeah. Yeah, because people aren't facing towards you. Yeah. 
You really have been watching over me this whole time, haven't you? You and your family. Not my family, but your family. All right. I love you, Uncle Arthur. Thank you. You're right. This is my home. It's always been my home. I'm going to finish what I started here, even if it'll disappear for me tomorrow. Whoa. Even if it'll all disappear. Sorry, I'm also just like, one, whoa, but two, also going, it's fortunate that it doesn't cost you any money to do so. Yeah, no shit. So there's no harm in spending your day the way you want to spend it. Mm Mm-hmm. I, okay, so where is the oak tree he planted for you? I want to know. I think it's that one. That's not an oak tree. The leaves are wrong. I know, it's not. But I think that's supposed to be I have planted two oak trees in my life, and they take a really damn long time to grow, but I will let you know that... By the time you're 30, they are a good, strong, solid tree that is not that crown shape or those leaves. <laughs> All right, let's get these leaves rigged up, pop. Here we go. Pop, pop, pee, pop, pop. Pee. Are we going to have the brilliant green grass under there? Probably. Lots of leaves later. Yes. Poof. Only on some of it. Oh. Oh. oh what? Molly? Oh, gosh. <clears throat> Molly's grave. Uh, Boo? I am dog. Aunt Mary's dog. I didn't know Aunt Mary buried her here. Let's pay our respects, Roxy. I... Where is your oak tree? Oh my god. That's it. I really am disappointed that that's it. (sighs) I'm not saying that it makes sense, but... uh, Put flowers on Molly's grave. Okay. I... Oh... Oh, wow. You mean plant, plant flowers plant. at Molly's grave. Okay, hang on. Do you hmm. know what I think is funny? What? So this, uh-huh. the plants are not there. Yeah, no, the picture that it shows isn't there. That big broadleaf thing does not exist. Yeah. Yeah. That like, one's there. But like that that plant is missing? Yep. And the and... fern is missing from this one. Oh, oh you no, can it's just there. It's barely the see layer. it in the background. Like, that's pretty That bad. one's not there, though. I wonder. No, it's never going to show up. Are those? F- they're frogs. Oh, look They're at that! They're frogs! Frogs! There you go, Moss. She was there every time I visited until I hit high school. That's when I started visiting less often. I wasn't around the year she died. It would have been just Aunt Mary and Molly. Frogs. And then just Aunt Mary. Yeah, and then profound. Aunt Mary and Uncle Jones. And also all of her friends, apparently, because she had a lot of friends as far as we can tell. And how she's gone too. But I, I see your I see your thought pattern. I sympathize. Yes. Everyone from back then is just gone. Do you remember anyone else from back then? Because it sounds like they had a lot of friends. And I just have to carry on tomorrow like they never existed. Like this house wasn't mine too. The frogs, they feel you, Lily. They do. Chirp, 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 chirp. What am I gonna do, Roxy? I left everything behind to come here, and now I have to leave this place behind, too. Oh! I, <laughs> Frog. I, Woo! Frogs, I have been chirping aggressively at you. I didn't see you there. Uh, sorry, little friends. I you know I'm being really loud with all my crying and moaning and bawling, and, um, you guys are really cute. Listen to the frogs. Oh, boy. Listen to the frogs in the teeth. Quiet shake. I'm like, why? That sounds I, like a thing. Like, just just listen with your heart, Lily. Listen to the frogs. You know what I think is interesting? Mm. We're finally... Mm, based off of what I can tell on all the other days that I can remember, mm-hmm. this is the only day where we've actually, like, paced ourselves around something at all. I'm going, well, you know, it's the last day. You want to think about stuff. You want to figure things out. It's very... Thinky. Right? I can see that. She's just talking to the frogs. What's up, little froggies? Croak. Croak. Ah. Boop. Uh. Right? Ah. <laughs> oh, uh, I see. This place is still kind of a mess. I guess now that someone's cleaning it up, you have reason to complain. Boop. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Uh, and if you don't know, that's the sound the Pac-Man frog makes. And uh, so it's, it's not a Pac-Man not a frog. frog no. It's, a, it's a, like a Nigerian rain frog. Oh, sorry, the, the, round, the other round There's boy. There's a round, a really, yeah. really round boy. Pac-Man frogs have way bigger mouths. Sorry, I was thinking to. about the, the other one. My bad. Anyway, these guys look a little bit like the round boy, but yeah, not puffed be. up. Oh, yeah. But they're the right color. Uh, I am, excuse me, I am absolutely not going to give you a kiss, all three of you. Uh-huh. But croak, the one frog. Okay, I accept your apology. I'll clean up the pond for you. 
I I mean, the frogs might be fine. They might be really fine. And real happy. I. They could be. They could just be like, there's new places to sit because you moved things. Right. So I'm looking around. On the other hand, Lily's sort of Disney princess experience of animals just come out to see me is kind of cute. Like, again, patron god, though. Uh-huh, like, it, really it does. makes total like, sense. I love that you came up with that, and it really pulls everything together way better than, well, you know, it's just like that sometimes. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, thank you very much for joining us, guys. Yes, absolutely. Um, if you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also share our videos. Uh, please also feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi or Patreon. We've got some links in the description down below. And I have been Scandal. And I have been Lies. And, and it was, was great playing with you. Bye!